We've got yeah. some breaking vaccine news for you. <laughs> Yesterday, Gloria got her first jab and she's here now Yay! to tell us all about Yay! it. Hi, Gloria. Yes. So I've got to ask, yes. how was it for you? <laughs> Do you know what? You're talking about yesterday, which was a great day of hope. But you're looking at a woman now with hope that maybe I'll have a little bit more security. I've always been for the vaccine. And I've been boring all of you rigid for weeks now <laughs> saying, when am I going to get it? When yesterday <laughs> was the day and I got it. Oh. And actually, Yay! it was so easy because the needle was in before I even knew it. Uh, the nurse was terrific. And I feel really good because when you think about it, I'm of the age where I've lived through vaccines. In school, we got the TB vaccine, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm all for it. And it just makes me feel full of hope. And um, and I'm really glad I've got it. Oh. So I'm a happy girl today. So there are two things we've got to make sure that people realise is you've not got full immunity now. You can, you've got to have that. your second jab. And then I think it's 14 days after that, then you'll have your immunity. Isn't that right? That's true. I know I can't go out and start partying with Denise or anything like that just yet. <laughs> um, as you, as I you don't say, party you, anymore, Glenn. <laughs> uh, we can make a private one somewhere. Um, Absolutely. But I do know that you have to wait, of course, a couple of weeks before the immunity begins to kick in. But it's, it's a question of hope. And you've been talking about hope this morning. And I, I have always been for the vaccine. And I don't really understand why anti-vaxxers are still around and saying, well... I don't trust it and I don't want to get it. And so I get my second one in uh, sometime in March. And how does the family feel about the fact that it's finally happened? Well, my son, Michael, I'm not exaggerating. He's phoned me every single day. Have you heard yet? Have you heard yet? Almost a boring proportion to said, I'd let you know. <laughs> Nobody's been in touch. But I have been, I think the last time I was on the programme, I was just saying, I run down to the post box every day to see, is there anything there to do with the NHS? <laughs> and uh, so when I eventually got the call, I mean, I can't tell you how thrilled I was. Maybe I'm being overexcited, but I really no. believe in it. Yeah. And I think it's good for the country, good for the world eventually, yeah. as the vaccine spreads. And so I'm happy. And so seeing I'm the oldest amongst you, <laughs> The older one has not got it. <laughs> and we're really, really pleased for you. We're really, I don't know why we're congratulating Thanks, you, but yes, congratulations. We're, we're, we're yeah, a bit I know, jealous I know, too. I know, I know. <laughs> well, Nadia's been talking about jab envy for most of the morning, but she is very, very happy for you, yeah, Gloria. Yeah, happy for you. <laughs> but thanks for sharing that with us. <laughs> See you How soon. Are you guys, are you really for the vaccine? Are you looking forward to getting yeah, yours eventually? Yeah, can't wait. You're too young. I think yeah. a lot of us just want life to get back to yeah. some kind of normality, Absolutely. don't we? Absolutely, just to get life back to normal. Absolutely. Well, and I'm also very pleased, also very pleased that from now on, masks will have to be worn in supermarkets because I will not go into a supermarket without a mask, if they're not all with, with masks. So that's yeah. another piece of good news today. Well, uh, yeah, and we yeah, do have to make sure that everybody realises, vaccine or not, you still have to wear your mask in, uh, in any supermarket across the country. Now, earlier, we spoke to Gloria about having the COVID vaccine. She mentioned having immunity, but we just want to clarify that the vaccine actually reduces the chance of you suffering from COVID-19, not necessarily making you immune. So with all medicines, it takes a few weeks for your body to build up some protection. So we just wanted to let you know that.